Hi guys. I will show now how to connect my engine start switches this holding solenoid to ProSim 77. For the engine start switches you need 8 inputs and 2 outputs. It is for 2 switches. For one switch it is one output and four inputs. Uh, you can do this one using Mobiflight and ProSim or any input output cards. I will show you how to connect my engine start switches to ProSim 737. Uh, this is the Arduino 737 project. Arduino 737 project created specially for ProSim. I will open here the panel of the Arduino 737. And it is a graphic user interface for the Arduino 737. It is created specially for ProSim and it's based on the Mega 2560. Un unfortunately, this product, uh, this project is not supported anymore, but it's still very useful. You no need to program the scripts. You need to download the project itself. I will, I will leave the links just below. And you need to install Arduino program on PC. Use Arduino ID now. Just start Arduino ID. Open the file. Arduino 737. Check the line. It's I don't know it's error or not, but check the line 151. It is here. 151. Here. You see it is commanded here by two slashes. You know you need this one just to delete this one. Okay. Now, now you need to check the board. Oops, sorry. Sorry, not this one. You need to check the board. Our board is this Arduino Mega or Mega 2560. It's okay. Now we are checking the port com. In my case, it is COM24. It's okay. Now you need, I done everything already. You need to upload this uh, this uh, sketch to the Arduino 737. And you are done this Arduino 737 uh, ID. Arduino ID itself. Okay. Just, we need, we need to close this program. Close. Start our Arduino 737 program itself. Again, I no need this one, sorry. We are starting Arduino 737 project. Now, you see, we can program here. It's graphic user interface, it's very good, and you can assign it very fast all your all, all you need. It says it has button, encoders, output, output reversed, seven segment. I don't know, does it work here, seven segment, but it's anyway, it's here. Now I need to program one output. In my case, it is just my case, guys. It's pin 24. Output. Check the baud rate. 9600. Device ID 10. And it's okay. And just remember or oh, write down somewhere it's a uh, prosim label. It, it is for output. It's 1024. Okay. Input. 26 prosim label 28 prosim label 30 and 32 okay as soon as you done this the with this one you need to choose your it is my in my case is com24 now you need to connect oops it's denied why I denied because of, I know because it is I cannot connect because I have uh, I have running uh, ProSim 77. Okay, you need to connect this one and upload. Upload to the to the your Mega Mega 2560, and now it's okay. Now we need to dis disconnect this one, disconnect this one, and Arduino 77. And now we are going to the ProSim. ProSim here now what we need to do this prosim 
Start your sim, choose pro sim model, start the flight, start pro sim. I did this already. My simulator is started already. Pro sim is started. Display uh, pro sim 737 overhead panel is started. Pro sim display is started. Engine is off. Engine is off. To, to first, what we have to do. We are going to config, configuration, drivers page. Be sure that generic COM port TCP driver is enabled. Here, advanced. Check the baud rate. 9600. Okay. It's done here. Now we are going to the config. Combine config for the engine start switches. In the pneumatic. First of all, I will show you the assignment of the switches. Start one. I'm as you as you you see. I did it for engine one. And okay, start one off. From drop down menu, you are choosing your. In my case, it is generic com port twenty four. For the off. It is just my case, guys, and you need to check to check your your prosim labels. Start one ground two six zero. Start one continuous three zero one. Start one flight two zero three two one. Now we are done with the, with the switches, and now we will assign the output for the solenoid. We are going to the gate page. Gate page. Going here, come on. Starter one solenoid. Again, I will I'm I choose the my generic com port 24 and the prosim labels is 1024. For my type of solenoid, you need starter one solenoid. It is it means that I have solenoid holding solenoid, not pushback solenoid. Now I'm done with this. Assignment here. I can close this one. Okay. Okay. And now I am going. I don't need this one anymore. I am going to the prosim panel. Oops. Here. Prosim panel. I have as soon as my, my engine started is off. I have started APU. I have prepared Pneuma panel for the starting. It is... Uh, Left pack is closed, the right pack is closed, the isolation valve open, 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 open. It is I already I'm ready for the for the starting of the engines. And now I'm going to the I'm going to start the engines. And we will check and we will see how it works here. Okay, now I'm ready. You see, as soon as you see it, it doesn't work this one by clicking the mouse because it's assigned already. Okay. What we have to do? Solenoid, no, engine start switches, engine, engine start switch, all assigned, and it should work right now. Let's check it. Push and ground position. Solenoid is holding the switch here in the ground position. Now it's okay. Now we are going. We are checking the N2. N2 is rising. We are going to the panel, upper mid panel. As soon as, okay. 18, 25, 26. We open the fuel valve. Returning to the overhead and just waiting. The N2 is rising. As soon as it, it will reach the 56%, we will see what will happen. 47, 8, 9, 50, and 56. 56. Switch, switch is returned to the off position. You see, 
And also we can check this uh, switch here, not for the ground position, for another another position. It is continuous and the flight. And that's it. It is for engine one, and uh, you can repeat for the assigning for the for the engine or start start switch and number two. For the engine number two, you can just uh, repeat all things, uh, these different prosim labels and different assignments, different assignments in the Tarduin 77 project. You can repeat for the engine two. That's it.